Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today um, I've got the completion of my little parcel from Mega You Put. Um, if you saw my earlier video of gnomes for November, then you'll see that I uh, had already opened the packet to take out uh, one of the little hanging items, uh, which was a little hanging acrylic gnome um, to help with November. But this is the rest of the parcel, so I'm going to go through it with you now and see what we got. Okay, let's get into it and have a look. There's all sorts of different things in here. Okay, okay, ooh. Right, that's the bag empty. So we have this one and a little one and a couple of squished ones and some little paintings and this one, which, ooh, okay. Um, I must have ordered two gnome things because this one is a gnome as well. Oh, I hadn't realised that. Okay. Ah, I think the last one was the one that said Love Across It, which I ordered for Valentine's. And this one is the Christmas one that I ordered. Oh, I must start writing down what I ordered a bit more. Okay, let's open this one first then. Let's pop all these to one side and then we'll have a look at those in a second. Stay. Okay, so... <laughs> dear silly me so this one let me get some scissors and let's get into this is another gnome which will be fun for november um and if you don't know what november is it's run by uh, angie craftnado and mindy mindy's down in a moment here on youtube and it's just like a little event where you can win prizes and things for doing gnome projects Okay, and it is for November, um, and I haven't realised, as I said, that I'd ordered two. So, <laughs> this is the other one that I've ordered. Oh, look at that. <laughs> How could you resist that? That is just so funny. I just love that the eyes are covered over with the hats. They just make me smile, and I hope they make you smile too. Um, we've got the little Christmas tree gnome here. This one's got his present and he's waving his star. Yay, I'm the star. But yeah, that's really funny. So it's acrylic. Uh, it's white backed. But the white backing is actually, sometimes the white backing is on the back of the acrylic. But this is actually on the back of the picture. So it's still clear on this side. So you're not going to scratch it off, which is quite good. Um, where's our hanging bits? So we've got a hanging little circle there. And the other one must be somewhere over here. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's there, but it's not been punched through. So I'll have to punch that through. I'll get my little pokey tool and punch that through. Yeah, so that's how you can hang it up. But it's a mixture of uh, gems and special drills. So it looks like everything's more or less drilled apart from the little hands on the gnomes there, which is pretty good. Nice clear drill field. It has got guide circles and these do look quite heavy black. So it's going to have to make sure that those drills are placed exactly. Otherwise that can show through if you're not careful. Let's give him a quick measure or them a quick measure. Three of them. Oh dear, that's really funny. I can't believe that I ordered two lots and only <laughs> opened it up to get one out. Oh, I'm going to have to take control of my... Uh, ordering right so that is eight inches which is 20 centimeters at its longest that way and let's look so that hat's a little bit longer than that one so we're about 12 centimeters which is about four and three quarter inches so just a cute little size uh, just to hang on a door or a wall or anywhere just as a bit of fun got a basic tool kit which has your chain in here as well. Does it have any jump rings in this one? Yes, it does. We've got jump rings, which is good. We've got one, two, oh, three jump rings. Yeah, I think we've got three in the last slot as well. Take those out. I'll pop those separate. I've got a charity that I now send all my boats um, and pens and wax to, all my spare ones. 
so if you need the details of that if you pop it in the comments down below um, and I'll contact you so we've got three jump rings to put through the little holes there and then this is a nice long chain and it's got lobster claw fastenings on the end which make that really easy to then hook this through to uh, hook it and unhook it set and measure the length of the chain okay. so we'll go from the clasps as well because that includes the length doesn't it uh, it is blah 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 blah, blah. Just under 19 inches, about 48 centimetres, so quite a nice long chain there, so you'll get quite a, a nice hang on the nose. Okay, let's get those put back in there so we don't lose them. And put the chain in there as well. Okay, and let's have a look at the drills. So, quite a nice cheerful little project to start off with. we've got here oh these look good we've got that lovely bright red uh, we've got that lovely bright red gem and a silver gem and your lovely white I think maybe curtain no it's got DMC code on it so I think it's maybe just how sparkly it is that's a lovely bright white it looks like a B5200 we've got quite a deepish brown gem there and a girl's gem like an amber gem green and a little bit bigger red one and those are pretty that's like a fire red ab coated teardrop and like a silver greeny teardrop and then like a goldy marquee there they've all got the iridescent coating on them like the ab coating on them so that's gonna really sparkle very christmasy like that one out the way what shall we look like let's look at this special one next as well okay so this is just a bit of fun the bit that's not fun is getting into the bag <laughs> okay this is not christmas and you know how much i like my bees so i've ordered a baseball cap Okay, so it's not a bad quality baseball cap. It looks like it's all quite nicely finished inside. You've got all your edgings done there. Uh, and it's adjustable as well with Velcro. So depending on how big your head is. <laughs> no rude answers, please. Uh, you can alter that. You've got your little button on the top as well. And I think what you do with this, and because the bee has come separately, get into this one now oh they're sending me these packets to try them today okay so ah right the bee is velcroed so he's going to stick on the front of the hat well, that's a nice idea so to be <laughs> Oh, sorry, how bad is that laughing at my own jokes? But I just couldn't resist. Yeah, so you can either have the bee on <laughs> or not have the bee on. Um, and because it's Velcro, you could quite possibly put your bee anywhere. So you can be anywhere. <laughs> oh, sorry, I just can't resist. But uh, yeah, I do like my bees and that's quite pretty. <laughs> I've got a face mask that's a bee as well, so I could wear my cap. And I've also got one of those dangling pendant things that's a bee. So I could have a bee around my neck and I could have a bee across my mouth and I could have a bee on my hat. Yay! I will be everywhere. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to stop now. I'm going to stop now. Honest, honest. So, um, the little gnomes were £5.96. Um, let me tell you how much the hat was. The hat was um, £5.96 as well, 
which is a pretty good price. Right, so we've got a very basic tool kit, which is just a standard pen, wax and a book there. Okay, now then let's have a look at these gems. Oh dear, sorry, I can't help the bee jokes. Be happy. I've got a gnome that says be happy as well with lots of bees around it. Oh. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, let's have a look at these. So we have, there's no DMC numbers on anything. Um, it looks like we've got, ooh, ooh, nice. We've got a standard 310 black gem there. Um, that is a white, but it's got your AB Aurora Borealis coating on it, which is lovely. Makes it really sparkle. We've got two um, golds there, like a champagne gold and a more of an amber gold. And then we've got your half spheres there, which are like white pearls, large white pearls. We then have some larger faceted black round gems. Some uh, white, again, half spheres, but smaller this time. Oh, look at those. Look at that one. That's like a... Oh, there's no facets on that at all. That's superb. Looks sort of like a crystal ball nearly, that one. Wow. So that's just a large, two large rounds. And then two more even larger rounds there again. Like a half sphere. Very nice. And then these are like a, an oval, a faceted oval. So it looks like they're going to go... Your eight, your C, and your A's there, which are those. We've got an extra eight, but we haven't got extras in the others. But to be honest, they are probably uh, a bit more pricey, those gems, because they are quite a bit bigger. But that's going to really pop and look really pretty when it's done. Okay, let's get these popped back into this bag. We'll put them all in the hat. Bye, B. And we'll just put them into this bag for now. Okay, so that's project number two. Now then let's have a look at this one and see what this one is. Oops. And, oh yeah. <laughs> so this is a pair of glasses. Yay! And they're Merry Christmas glasses. There's no glass actually in them, um, but you diamond paint the full area. They're just cartoony glasses. Uh, I think if you remember seeing one of my previous Christmas unboxings, I have got one pair of these and I thought I'm not going to be the only person wearing silly glasses. So I've got a hobby pair as well. <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> I'll surprise him with his Christmas hat and his Christmas glasses. And then he'll just have to put them on. What can I say? I'm a cruel wife. <laughs> They've come really well packaged with a nice piece of foam, um, which is such a good idea to stop the top bit from bending over because it is quite flimsy um, and it would easily break and it'll also stop these uh, plastic glasses from breaking as well. They are actually, um, although they look children's size, I can actually get those on. So they are, um, they will fit an adult as well. Uh, obviously it depends like with the hat on the size of your head but uh, yeah so that's your Christmas glasses you've got your uh, boat your wax and your pen again just your standard toolkit there it's enough to do your projects but these are just so much fun I love the fact that there's so many different things let's get these out first so many different uh, diamond painting projects and things come out now it's great so we've just got red, silver and green. So you've got red for your glasses, green for your um, holly on the edge there and then white for your snowflakes, your clears for your snowflakes. So yeah, just a great bit of fun those. Wow, like that. Okay, so that was just a fun project. I thought, yeah, I'll have to get another one of those. Right, we now have three little teeny tiny paintings. Okay, so let's have a look at the first one first. I do like these little paintings. Um, I've used quite a few of them as greetings cards rather than pictures. 
um, and I enjoy doing these as well. Ugh, that's if they'll come out of the packets. Come here. I'm having a struggle today. What's going on? What's going on? That's because I said I'm going to make Cubby wear a, a, a silly hat and glasses at Christmas, isn't it? That's karma coming back to get me. Okay, so this one is a little cute duck. How cute is that? Look at that little happy face. Oh, I just love that. Um, it's one that I've not seen before and I have done a lot of these now. Um, there's those paintings where it's not classed as full drill, but it is practically got a gem or a, um, a drill on every single part of the picture. And they're mainly your special drills. And they're just so cute and so fun to do. Okay, so let me just flatten this one out a bit. I might be okay with this because it's quite small, so I shouldn't really muck up this set uh, plastic covering, should I? She says famous last word. <laughs> Okay, so that's the little duck. Uh, again, basic tool kit, your pen, your wax and your bow. It seems like this company, that's their standard, that's what they supply. So it's mega you put in the uh, company. Uh, and yeah, the, I've used them before and I've been quite happy with the items. So I thought, why not? When I saw a couple of items I liked, um, I thought, I'll use them again. Okay, let's have a look at these gems. Ooh, they're all crystal gems. Look at those colours. So we've got a lovely sparkly like um aqua blue and a slightly larger one. And that's like a brownie gold colour and a champagne gold and sort of slightly darker one. Ooh, a lovely larger amber there. And your middle sized and then your standard. And a pink, and a red, oh, and a gold, a lemony gold look. And that's in the three sizes as well. And you've got your little black ones. And then your three sizes of your round greens. And then the three sizes of the silver. Look at all those. Very, very sparkly. So that one is definitely going to sparkle. Sparkly duck. Whack, whack, whack. Okay, and the next one, again, same thing, see, oh, that one's come out easier, look, okay, and this one is a little frog, exactly the same thing, actually, it looks very similar colour palette as well, and it's got the little dragonflies, they're brave, they're out of flying that close to a frog, I likely to get sucked up, <laughs> okay, so let's get flattened a bit see if I can do this okay and flatten him out that's it okay, they won't be going back in the packets these uh, we have got the yeah the numbers are actually on the drills so I'm quite safe with the drills they won't get muddled up she says hopefully <laughs> okay again basic toolkit exactly the same and let's have a look at these. And we have. So we've got a standard white and a standard black. And a, ooh, like a not quite a hot pink, but very rosy pink. And your three sizes in your golds there. And the brownie colour. And then two sizes in like the yellowy gold. And three sizes in your green. Actually, there's four sizes. Oh no, that's one sort of, well, that's one colour green, sorry. And then three sizes in the darker colour green. And three sizes in the blue. So this one's going to be mainly blue, whereas the duck is mainly silver. Okay, so that's number two. And finally, number three. Uh, and this one is a little upside down monkey. Yay! And Hubby is absolutely mad on monkeys. So I tend to get ones that have got monkeys and orangutans and things like that on. And uh, don't tell him, but this one could quite possibly be his birthday card for next year. 
Um, I don't think he watches my videos, although he did come across me um, on YouTube on the telly the other day and say, oh, there's somebody that's got your photograph. And I said, no, it's not my photograph. That's my, that's my channel. So, yeah, it is actually me. And he went, oh, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, same toolkit again. So, lots of consistency. Uh, let's just have a look and get into these. And where's the end? Where's the end? Is it there? Okay, seems to have quite a theme with these. What colour background is this one? So we've got two greens and two pinks there, and the champagne gold, and like a very peachy yeah, orange there and a couple of browns and then this one that's just got three sizes in the clear acrylic uh, sorry the clear gems so this one is just the one uh, three size so the background is all going to be the clear Ooh, I wonder if it'll look different when it's got um, the blue behind it and the fawn behind it I wonder if that'll give it a slightly different tint be interesting to see what it looks like so the little pictures were all £2.37 each. Let me check. Yep, £2.37 each for the little pictures. Oh, and the glasses were £2.98. So that's pretty good. Quite impressed with that. Okay, put those on one side. And just have a look at the last two. I hope you're still with me and that you've not fallen asleep. And I do apologise for the shadows. So it's very yeah, miserable weather here in the UK at the moment. And everything is very, very dark. So let's just let's get into this packet and take this edge off. And have a look at what we've got. Okay. And, oh, this is little. Uh, quite a bit smaller than I was expecting, but that's okay. Uh, oh, let's get rid of that bit. And that's our gems. They're exactly the same toolkit again. And this is a little teeny tiny acrylic wreath. And this is like a, a white acrylic. Hmm. Okay. So it has a bee on it. Of course, it's got a bee on it, and it's got a robin at the other side. But that's a lovely spring wreath. What I've been thinking is the fact that I've got so many Christmas wreaths. When I put them up, the house is going to be covered. And when I take them down, it's just going to look so bare that I thought, right, I need to get some uh, others to put up in their place. So I just thought that was really, really pretty. So this is a bit smaller than I expected. Um, a lot of the wreaths are like the 12 by 12 inch, which is the 30 by 30 centimetres. But I suspect this is about a nine. So let's just double check. So, yeah, it's a nine inch, this one, which is 23 centimetres. And I suspect, yeah, it's nine inch, 23, 24 centimetres. Yeah. So, but it is very, very pretty. Um, so it's come through in one piece. You can see all where it's going to be drilled, all your special drills, all your different flowers. We've got butterflies on it as well. So I just thought that would look really pretty. Need something to sparkle up the house after Christmas. Have a quick look at these gems. And this one was £6.88. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. The uh, telephone just rang. So I've just had to go running all the way downstairs and run all the way back up again. So yeah, so we're on a bee and a robin theme. Okay, did we look at the gems? Did we look at the gems? No, we didn't. <laughs> Let's have a look at the drills and gems that go with this. Okay, so you've got two shades of green, a very deep red there and a blue and a lovely lilac -y purple colour and a gold and a peachy orange and a blue and a brown and a black oh 
that's a black with uh, a silver coating on the back which is basically just black and um, then we've got lots of that one that must be the flowers that's like an a b sparkly coated silvery lilac color and then some like fire red as i call it coated uh, around faceted gems there at the end so that is going to be a super pretty okay so that's a little wreath there as well it was quite a big haul this one okay and then the last one oh no just spotted in the corner what this one is oops let's get into it and have a quick look oh, oh that's the worst piece of cutting i've ever seen my goodness me that's definitely not a straight line okay goes out there, that's the gems, uh, another exactly the same toolkit, and we've got some more bees, be happy, so we've got a bee on either side, and I've got one similar to this, uh, if you remember I unboxed it earlier in the year, and I've done a, a review and a, um, a ceiling and everything on it, sunflowers and bees, but this is quite a small one, I think this one will be nine inches again, it's your white acrylic, so they are quite nice and light to put on the wall these, I do like these um, and I would use command strips or you could use some invisible thread or fishing thread just to hang through um, on it uh, or just put a little hook on the back, you can get some quite uh, strong sticky hooks these days, um, just double check yeah we're 23 24 centimeters nine ish inches again on these so they are the smaller ones but again this was six pound 88 so the larger ones tend to range from 10 to 20 pounds so getting one of these for like just under seven pounds six pound 88 you know you're paying less but you're getting a slightly smaller one but that's okay they're still very pretty let's have a look at these gems and see what we've got I'm going to be so busy doing all these, it's getting very, very dark now. Um, and as I said, I do apologise for the shadows. I will eventually get some proper lighting doing my videos, but at the moment I'm spending all my money on diamond paintings. <laughs> so we've got a nice green, two lots of lovely sunflower gold. Uh, that's a, oh, I think that's a very dark red actually. Oh, that could be brown. It's a very dark browny red. We've got a black there again with a silver backing, so it's black. And a very pale lemony gold. A very greyy blue. An aqua blue. Another browny colour. And then we've got marquees in gold. And some little tiny teardrops in gold there as well. They're little teeny tiny ones. So, quite a nice mixture actually. Um, we've got two lovely wreaths, which is your bee and your robin. We've got your three little pictures, which is a frog, a duck and a monkey. We've got your little Christmas glasses. We've got our oops, Christmas gnomes. And then we've got our bee happy hat. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. Um, I can't wait to get started on them. I think I say that with all my projects, but I order them and I think, oh yeah, I love that. I just wish our days had more hours in them. What can I say? Okay, well if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, give me a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated. That's the little button just down here. And if you want to come back, see these completed and see what I get up to next press that subscribe button down in this corner and the little bell next to it you'll be notified when my next videos come up so thanks for stopping by hope to see you all again soon bye for now